Hello everyone. Hi, this is Bupesh again. Welcome to my channel. So today uh, we'll be starting an all uh, new topic altogether in a topic on Azure DevOps. I'm getting all the requests, how to create Azure pipeline, how to create your Azure DevOps account and how to run your first Azure pipeline. So in today's session, we'll be seeing how to create Azure free Azure DevOps account and then how to run a pipeline using that as a DevOps account. So no, nothing, nothing much to explain from the theoretical perspective. Let's quickly jump onto the practical implementation of it. So I'll come on to there's a GitHub page that I've been created for this small document. It's only two steps are there. First of all, we'll create Azure DevOps account and then we'll create a, a pipeline request so that we can run pipeline. So let me follow the documentation. I'll copy this URL and I'll create my Azure DevOps free tier account basically i've opened a you know incognito portal so that none of my accounts is being interlinked or interference so i'll click on start free now it will ask me to create a microsoft account so you can create a new or you can use any existing account that you have so i'll create a new account so that it becomes crystal clear for you Okay, I'll use my new email ID. Create a one. Let me get a password. Create a word for now. Fine, they'll send me a Gmail link. Let me just quickly log in and get that. Great. Okay, so I received this verify email address. This is my code. I'll just copy this code, paste it here, click next. Fine, so my Microsoft account is getting created. Very good. So we need to solve these puzzles. Interesting. Interesting. So the account has been created almost. Yeah, I could have done it earlier, but I want to show you how to get it step by step working condition. So now i'll click on i just give to india the country i'll click on okay so they are saying name of name your azure DevOps organization so i'm just saying kupesh krafana so that is okay i'll just click m g j x s p fine now it will take me to a devops organization the first devops organization under this account so what I did first of all, I should have a valid Gmail account or any other G, any other account. I just create a Microsoft account and then it will automatically create my free tier uh, Azure DevOps account. Right. So now my Bupesh Kripana organization has been created. Now I'll create my first project. I'll just do a first, I'll do a demo project for that matter. Now I'll talk about the public and private. So we now three tier accounts are always created on private we cannot create public accounts so i'll just project basically i click on this private project perfect now i'll just run my first pipeline so before running my first pipeline i need to create a repo created so i'm creating a private repo within the same organization the demo project i click on this repos and then uh, i just scroll down i'll just 
simply say just add a readme file and then click on initialize now this will initialize the repo now you can see repo has been created this is the azure git repo this is not a github and uh, because the free tier accounts are not being integrated with uh, you know public github the, you know microsoft has stopped that services so now i'll do a setup build i'll create my first pipeline i'll click on the starter pipeline this will create automated yaml file for me this will trigger on main whenever there's a commit happening on main branch it will use the one two latest uh, you know agent and then it will just print simply say echo hello world it will just print hello world onto your screen i'll click save and run now the moment you run it uh, this pipeline will fail i'll tell you why it is it why it will fail because this is my first account so let's see whether i'm wrong or wrong right so see the pipeline has been failed why this has been failed let me see the error so nowadays the microsoft is not giving you know access to run uh, parallelism onto your ubuntu agent to run it you need to fill a form you need to fill a form here that is what i have mentioned in my documentation also you need to come here and fill up quick this form to get request approved so i'll come here i'll open this parallelism request form fine i'll just give my name i'll give my email id okay what's the devops organization so i need to give my organization name something like this so i'll just copy the thing i'll come here so the moment i click on the zero devops icon the, this is my organization name i'll just copy this link and the answer now are you requesting a pipeline increase for public or private so we should not click public because anyhow they will deny this request you need to just click private and why they are saying they are not in exposing their agents to access the public repository so you can create a pipeline using private project called the basically private github repository so i'll click submit and now this request has went to the microsoft they will just approve it within a day and then i'll run it i will I'll be able to run this first pipeline in this demo project but what to do till the time uh, i need to show this as a completed you know session for you so what i'll do i just log in with my other account okay let me log out this and let me just log in with my other account to show you sign out or sign it with a different account okay i'm closing it but to showcase how my first pipeline will look like i'll just come here or i can do it here or say here only as your pipeline right so this is my already uh, existing project that i created it using this account this gmail account i'll send the passcode Seven one one. Come on, zero three one. Okay. So this is the account that I re already raised that pipeline uh, parallelism request, and this should be working. So this is a you can say I came here and. This is my this repository. I have two repositories. So I click on this as your DevOps tutorial. This is my pipeline. And this is also printing the same thing. Hello world. The sample starter pipeline basically. Or I can create another uh, you know pipeline. But yeah, just to quickly run the pipeline to show how it works. So I'll come here. This is my pipeline. Run the pipeline again. Run on main branch. So this is running and now this will not throw that parallelism request error because i already did that request some time back and i got that request approved and i'm able to run the pipeline so pipeline is working fine and you can see the results are coming properly so that is pretty much i think uh, that's what we want to do it in this uh, demo so just try to create 
first of your pipeline by yourself by getting that account follow these simple steps i think it would be pretty easy to do it so yeah let me know what else uh, what what else you know, to key in next set of sessions we'll try to cover those sessions especially on azure pipelines yeah thanks for now thank you bye bye